All right, guys. Thank you guys for hopping on tonight. Tonight is, I was going to say October. Wow. Okay, get your sh together, girlfriend. It is the 17th of April. Um, I'm super excited because we have a very special guest speaker tonight. But before I hand over the call to her, I want to share a little bit about, oh my gosh, can I, I'm just super distracted by Lily and her chubber cheeks. Oh, now she's pissed. Um, <laughs> but so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something. Actually, I'm going to mute you, Tracy, because I'm getting a little bit of feedback real quick. So really quick, the other day I asked in my personally sponsored group, and I know a few of you were in there, and I asked, I wanted to get real, and I want to be real with you guys and for you guys that are watching the recording for a second. So I know people come into Beachbody because we love helping others, right? Or we love the accountability, we love the support, we love all of that stuff, right? But then in actuality of it, we're thinking of Beachbody as an actual business. Am I right? Like this is a business, this is how we make money. We're not in it just to make money because honestly, if that was a fact, we all know that none of y'all would be here because uh, we don't play that kind of game. But we, we get people to join our team that have big hearts, that love and support each other, that are their biggest cheerleaders and things like that. But the thing is we all need an income for some reason, right? And I was actually very empowered by another Star Diamond coach. She said that when, like she, she gets her mind bog, like her mind's bog. See, I told you Tara, after 6 p.m. my mind's mush. But uh, she said it, it blows her mind when people try to quit because they say that Beachbody isn't working for them. Because when she goes, well, why isn't Beachbody working for you? Have you actually been doing the four vital behaviors every day? And they're like, well, no, but you know, I have, I have financial stress going on, or I have this debt, or I have, you know, I have to pay for my son's private preschool, or I have to do this, or my radiator just went out and I need to replace it. And, and then she said, it boggles my mind that there's so many people that need the financial assistance that they're just leaving Beachbody, that they're not taking Beachbody seriously. In all actuality, Beachbody could be their saving grace. Do you guys understand that? And so when she said it, she goes, she goes, I deliberately asked my coaches. So you say that you're not working the business. So you say you're not doing your power hour every day. You're not being a product of the product. You're not reading your personal development. You're not taking care of yourself. You're not showing up on social media, but you're bitching and you're moaning. And yes, this is going to be a little bit of tough love. You're bitching and you're moaning and you're complaining about being in debt or not being able to go places or not being able to put gas in your car or not being able to put food on your table but your, the things that you need are not aligning up with your actions. Does that make sense? So the other day I asked in my PS group, I said, I want you guys to be real. This is a judgment-free zone and I'm not going to read them because like I, I keep my personal girls to myself. Um, I don't share. <laughs> but um, so I asked, you know, like what would it mean to make $100 a week? And I want you guys to really think about this for a second. What would it mean to make $100 extra a week $200 extra, $300, $500. I'm not, I'm not thinking like astronomical out of the universe, like $10,000 from the start, right? Because I don't care where everybody is financially, $100 extra a week could help. So I really want you to think about what it could help you with your family, your future. Because I know being in debt is not comfortable. I know the stress it causes on you and your family. And that that stress causes health issues. It's a, it's a negative downward effect that we can actually, we have an opportunity at our, at our fingertips that we can transform our lives if we just do the work, right? So I wanted to ask you guys that. So after Tracy's call tonight, I want you guys to really sit and think like, what would the extra 250? We'll just say $250, an extra $250 a week. What would that do for me and my life? And then I want you to think about, are you doing what it takes to earn $250 a week? Okay, the second thing I want to touch on. I hear and see and get messages from so many coaches saying, I can't be on Facebook anymore. I can't be on Instagram. I'm watching all these people at Success Club Trip, and I get to see you go to this Success Club Trip. Yes. It's comparisonitis, but the thing is, you all can be there. You know, I, before Beachbody, I never went on fun vacations. I never was able to afford time off or time or, or vacations in general. Like 
it took me six months to save to go to the freaking Great Wolf Lodge for one night. One night. That was like 150 bucks, okay? So if I tell you guys that from where I came, and a lot of you guys know where I came from, and I'm not getting into that part right now, but if I could come from where I came from financially and being able to go on these trips and being able to be, I'm not asking you to be a full-time coach. Maybe you don't want to be a full-time coach. Maybe you love your job and that's completely fine. But everybody needs that financial comfort. Everyone needs that, that feeling where if they wanted to go on the success club trip and they earned it, they'd be able to. So just to let you guys know, yes, <clears throat> there is a wait list for next year's success club trip but you can get on it and you can earn your way to it. Has your family had a vacation before? Have you and your hubby or significant other partner, whatever, or best friend had a vacation together before? No, if not, it's about time. So instead of staying off Facebook and staying off, off Instagram because you're seeing everybody's posts, use that as inspiration, right? And to light a fire under your butt. Just like people are saying, Oh, I'm looking at Candace's transformation and Christine's transformation and all these girls' transformations with the 20 or with 80 day obsession. And I didn't stick to my nutrition, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not sharing my stuff. Well, here's the thing use their photos as inspiration. Like, you guys, we do not have to lower ourselves and be discouraged in ourselves just because another woman is doing awesome, right? We use that as inspiration and fire to fuel us. Because we know how incredible these other women are, right? And we know it's been a struggle for everybody. It's not easy. No one's easy. Like Candace doesn't wake up every day and she's like, A to day obsession's easy. Time nutrition's easy. Taking care of two boys and getting my workout in, it's easy. No, that doesn't happen. We all know it's a struggle. But the thing is, we need to change our mindset on making it an inspiration and using that to move us forward. Otherwise, we all know what happens when we get into that negative headspace. All it does is derail us discourage us and push us backwards. Now with that said, I'm going to open it up to my dear friend, Tracy Jackson. I got to tell you guys, I love this woman so much. It hurts. Like she is, she is, um, adopted fam. She's adopted misfit. She actually, she's not an adopted misfit. She's an adopted, adopted, unstoppable misfit. But, um, I love her. Like she's my own, like she's my family. Um, she's an amazing coach, mentor, leader, great friend. And there's Johnny, the cutest little man ever. But with that said, I'm going to give Tracy the mic. And if you guys have any questions, um, write it in the chat box and she can go over and answer it at any time after the call. So Tracy. Hey guys. So I'm so excited to be here because first of all, I forgot that I was doing the call this morning until Vicki <laughs> messaged me. And, uh, then I was like, oh my God, I didn't write any notes. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to wing it. I wrote down some things, but we're just going to go with it. Um, tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about clarity and about goals and priorities and dreams um, because we should all have them. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys how I wish that I had done this sooner in my business because I've been a coach almost four years. And um, in the beginning of my coaching career, I was just in it for me. I was in it to lose weight. I was in it to feel better. I was in it to, you know, yeah, I signed up as a coach, but I was a discount coach. And I really didn't see the value of what this business has to offer until months later. And even though, I mean, I signed up a couple people to do a challenge group with me, I still didn't really grasp the, um, the amazingness of this business. And so I kind of was behind the eight ball coming into it and really kind of just spinning my wheels for the first maybe year and a half or so. And, you know, I had a few co couple coaches under my team or on my team, but um, I really just kind of felt behind and I, I didn't have a vision and I didn't have a clear vision of where I wanted to go or how I wanted to lead my team or, um, where I wanted to take my family on vacation. So, um, so I had to do a lot of soul searching. I had to do a lot of just sitting back and listening and doing the work. 
and um, you know, I, I did the work and I'd stop, I wasn't consistent, you know, in the first couple of years of my, of my business. So, um, that really affected my business. Um, I was afraid. I didn't know what to post. I didn't know. I, I just used a thousand excuses. So, um, so I'm going to be talking to you guys tonight about that, about vision and clarity and focus and growth and, um, how this can help your business. And if you, if you do it now, and if you're serious about your business now, it will help you um, be successful later. So <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with number one, your priorities. Um, you need to get super, super crystal clear about your priorities. Um, because you, and I'm not just talking about this business, I'm talking about your life priorities. And this business needs to be in the top five of those. Um, if you're going to have this as a business, whether you're a discount coach or a you know hobby coach or you're all in kind of coach, it doesn't matter. This business needs to be a part of your life priorities. Um, and so as you build your business, your top priorities cannot go out the window. Good job, Eddie. Good job. We're packing. <laughs> and he packed all of his toys. <laughs> um, but if you want to be successful and grow your business at a reasonable pace, I'm not talking about like out the window, crazy, you know, you're a diamond coach in, in two weeks or whatever. I'm talking about at a reasonable pace. Um, if you're, you know, wanting to grow your business, it, it, you know, it's important to write down your goals. It's important to write down what your dreams are. Um, and I did this, you know, a, a few years ago and they're always going to change too. You know, your goals are going to change, your dreams are going to change, and it all changes with how you are moving forward in your business. And I'm lagging, I'm sorry, my internet sucks. <laughs> the one thing that I did learn, though, is that, um, hold on just a second. Do you have, um, can you do a hard wire, or I think it's like where you plug the X, Extranet cord in? The big fat cord in your computer? I can, but I'm not in the office where it's at. Okay. So let me see if I can get it on my phone. Okay. Because my phone works. Maybe. So, sorry guys. That's okay. We all understand technical difficulties. Yes. All right. Let me log on my phone. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Let me let me see here. <laughs> okay, so um so what, what we need to do is get rid of all of the fluff in our life. Um, that's the stuff that is crowding your plate, the stuff that keeps you from being your best self. So when you get rid of all of the extra um, and just kind of get down to the basics and do the four vital behaviors, um, that helps you, you know, better prioritize your, your life, your business, whatever, um, use a planner, however you pen and paper, however you do it, get rid of all the extra stuff and just do the basics. Um, and just think of this as, um, think of this business as the platform to your dreams. You need to have dreams. If you don't, you need to find some, um, think about where you want to go. What, uh, like where you, where do you want to take your family? Um, those are the kinds of dreams that I sit down and I think about where do I want to take Johnny and Dave? Like we want to go to Ireland or we want to go to Disneyland or, um, you know, we would just want to travel. Um, so those are things that I know without this business, it wouldn't be possible unless I hit the, the lottery and that's not going to happen. So, well, it could, but 
probably not. <laughs> um, think about, yeah, just think about where you want to go and write those down. Those are your dreams. Those are your goals that you want to work for. And if you're going to use Beachbody as your platform, that's going to help you reach those dreams. Um, these are just the things um, that you're striving for. Are you passionate about? Um, you can't wait to jump up out of bed and just do, you know, like I, the first thing I think about, you know, when I wake up in the morning is how grateful I am to have this business and to have all of you in my life because without Beachbody, without our team, without my team, um, you know, it's life would be pretty boring and, I'd be pretty mundane and I'd be sitting on the couch, probably watching Real Housewives and just, <laughs> um, you know, and that's not what I want in a life anymore. I used to do that and that's not, that's not where I want to be. So just make sure that you are striving for something that you're passionate about, whether that be, you know, helping other people or um, if you're just, you know, in it for the challengers or whatever it is, if you're passionate about it, it will mean something to you. Write them down. These, um, these will look different to everyone. And that's what I love about the opportunity of this business is that we all have different dreams. We all have different goals in life, but we all come together for the same reason. And that reason is to help other people live a healthy, fulfilling life. That's what we're here for. We are a health and wellness business. Um, so get clear on these goals and dreams. Your work ethic and effort has to match those dreams. It has to be as big as your biggest dream. Um, don't be afraid to work hard and to find the grind in this business. <laughs> um, you, um, you need to think about what kind of an entrepreneur do you want to be, um, with this business? Like, do you know, do you want to be that badass that is going to leave a legacy for your family? And, um, how are you, you know, how are you going to show up for that? And that is all part of your goals and setting priorities and, you know, thinking about your dreams. So in the beginning, like I said, I solely started out. Um, it was just about me. And over the last three and plus years, it has become bigger than that. And I can't imagine not having this in my life. Um, so I will be doing this forever as long as Beachbody will have me. And, <laughs> and I'll be helping people along the way. Um, so uh, the first thing that I, I did not do in the beginning was personal development. And I know we talk about this every single time we get on the call and that's okay. Somebody needs to hear it because I didn't do it and my business showed that I didn't do it because I didn't know, I didn't know me and I, I wasn't working on myself. And yeah, I was working on the outside but the inside needed healing. So, um, you know, I feel like if I'd have started with personal development in the beginning, you know, things would have been different, but you can say what if and could have and should have, and here I am today. And I love my personal development and I love that I can teach that to my coaches. I can teach that to my challengers and I can help heal them um, and transform them from the inside out. So. Um, that's what I, you know, that's a huge part of our business is just growth and development. So, um, this business is a way to change lives. And that means that we have to change ours first. Like I just said, we need to work on our own mindset first before we can help change someone else's life. It's super important. Um, that's why we say you have to do the four vital behaviors. And one of those vitals is personal development. So, um, and you know, you're doing your workout and you're drinking your shake and you're eating, you know, following a meal plan. If you are not doing all of those things for you first, it will not work for you to have to, 
to reach out and teach that to someone else if you're not being a product of the product. So um, we need to want to make this about a journey from within, a growth journey. Um, what's amazing about this business is that we can take control of our own health and fitness when we take, thank you, buddy. When we take control of that smaller aspect of our lives, it's like a ripple effect into our other aspects of our lives. We become a better, better woman, a better wife, mother, sister, you know, uh, better at your own job. If you're still working, um, you know, if you're a, a guy in this group, it makes you a better man. You know, you treat your wife better. It just is like a compound effect and it just takes over your whole, your whole life. You become a happier person. You become healthier. You laugh more. Um, so all of those things are super important. And that's why I am so passionate about helping um, the people that I help because I can see them transform from the inside out. Um, what else? And then when we introduce personal growth into their life, um, you have no idea that the gift that you're giving them, how huge that is. Even though they may not see it yet, um, just know that that is something that they can carry with them forever. And then they're going to carry it on into their family and so on and so forth. So it's just, you know, it's just growing, always growing. Um, it also makes things even a little in, in struggle situations. Um, when you're working on yourself and you're reading personal development, it's, you know, and, and you have like a life struggle. Um, it helps you kind of get through that a little bit better. Um, I've personally been going through um, some personal struggles and I'm going to tell you if it hadn't been for personal development and growth in this business and this team, um, I would not have gotten through it. I would have just went the other way, hid in my, you know, in my closet or crying in my pillow or whatever. Um, and, you know, I would have just not been okay. But because I have grown on the inside, um, I, I have been able to share those with other people and share those with my team and share those with my challengers. And you know what? They're the biggest supporters that we have, you know, and, and that helps them understand they have struggles too, and they can share them with other people. So it's all about growth guys. Um, let's see. So what I want you to get really clear on is, you know, to fully commit to becoming and growing and learning and failing. And all of this is the beauty of our business that you learn from every step of the way. It, it is so important to, you know, if you're going to commit to this, commit to it, be a hundred percent authentic, be a hundred percent in it, um, to win, to help, Whatever it is that you're here for, be 100% of that. You don't have to be an all-in coach and, and quit your job today if that's not for you. But whatever it is, why, whatever the reason is that you're here, you need to be 100%. Um, I, you know, I can't, I can't explain how much well, let me see how clear my vision is now for my, my business. Things change. Like I said before, um, I'm more intentional with, with what I do with my business and how I, how I structure it every single day. And so you just have to do the simple things and, um, and just, you know, align your work and your effort to match your goals and your dreams and you will be successful, you'll be happier, and you'll be healthier. That's all I got. I felt like I was rambling, though. You are not rambling at all. That is freaking awesome. Um, I love that you said, like, 
be clear on always, always be a student, always be willing to learn and grow because in this business, I mean, like if you're not moving forward, you are going backwards. Like, and no one, none of us want to go backwards. None of us want to go back to our unhealthy relationships or a shitty childhood or being in debt or living in a shack or whatever. Like none of us want to do that. We want to move forward. We want to move up. We want to level up. We want to continue to grow. And the thing is like a lot of us on here are moms and we've, you know, I've had this same talk with so many women recently because I feel like there's mom or grandma guilt, you know, spending time or money on yourself you know, and we don't see it as a, an investment. We actually see it as we're taking away from someone we love. But the thing is like, if you wake up early, yes, I understand not everyone's schedule. You're able to wake up before everybody else. But if you are able to set aside time before your, your day gets chaotic, whether it's children or the big children or dishes or laundry or what have you for yourself and you invest time in yourself for personal development meditation, anything that makes you feel grounded and anything that empowers you and inspires you, it's going to help so much. And I've heard so many coaches say that personal development is the very last thing that they put on their list, which blows my mind because there's no way in hell that I can communicate with a new person if I have a shitty attitude. You know, like if, if you slept on the wrong, or if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, you had a crappy night, Maybe your kid woke up at three o'clock in the morning and needed mom time or, you know, we all feel like this. We, you know, we all have these times and you wake up and you're like, well, I'm in a bad mood. You stub your toe, you are out of coffee, you know, like all these things keep happening. And how do you expect yourself to sit and work the business if you're not taking care of your mindset? Like if you guys don't do inviting every single day, if you don't post on social media every day, even if you don't do your workout every single day or drink Shakeology, I don't give a F. What I care about is that you're taking care of you mentally and emotionally. Because even if you're not able to work out or drinking Shakeology, you can take care of yourself internally. And that is what's most important for you, for your business, for your children, for your family, for your friends, for everybody, and for your sanity, for God's sake, for your sanity. <laughs> but I love that you touched on that, Tracy, because it's so true, because every single call, every single call, every single guest speaker, every single host always mentions PD, no matter what topic it is or what have you. But too many people put it on the back burner because they're like, it's not that big a deal. It's just a book. What's a book going to do for me? What's a podcast going to do for me? Those are the people that have never been committed to doing it, right? So yeah. I have a question for you, Tracy. What are your top three favorite personal development books? Let's see. I just finished um, a couple weeks ago. Um, was it Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis? Love that book. That is an amazing book, and I can't wait to listen to it again because I had it on podcast. Um, and perf. Uh, what is it? Uh, perfect. No. Gosh, now I can't even think of it. I was uh, just listening to it this morning. Um, present over perfection or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And um, I like, I, and I've read it a couple times and I like Girl Code. That is also a good one. Awesome. And I need to incorporate some leadership books into my next read. So um, I, I, did listen, oh, I, go ahead. I did listen to um, a book about codependency. Okay. And it was an audio because um, there's a lot of toxic relationships going around. So um, I really needed to ground myself and it was just a, you know, a couple hour read. So it wasn't bad. I, is it codependent no more? Yes. I have that book. Melody Battle or Belittle yeah. or Beetle or something. Yeah. It's a good book. Yeah. Um, for you guys that are needing um, leadership growth and development, The Power of Positive Leadership by John Gordon is freaking amazing. And he talks to you like he's one of your buddies that, that you're working or that you're watching a football game with or something. Like he's really mm -hmm. cool. One personal development book that I recently got for those of you that made Success Club last month. Here's the thing. So, <laughs> 
If you sign up as a Beachbody coach, your coach will tell you there's no requirements, there's no obligations, there's no, you know, there's no contracts, none of that, right? And then you hear this stuff called Success Club. For those of you that don't know what Success Club is, Success Club is when you help at least three people a month, whether they sign up as a coach or a challenger with either a challenge pack, Shakeology on Home Direct, Performance Line on Home Direct, or the All Access Pass package. Whew, let's say that five times fast. But you get two points for each of those things. So basically, when you earn Success Club, it means you're actually getting out there doing the four vital behaviors, obviously, every single day. And you are building your business, you're helping others. And you, for that, you, you were gifted a gift from Beachbody, from corporate. And oftentimes, it's special, um, Zoom, like basically basic uh, video chats with authors, personal development authors. They send you books, they send you swag, they send you all sorts of funky stuff. I got an umbrella, like, you know, just fun stuff. I got bobbleheads. Like who doesn't want to see Shanti as a bobblehead? I mean, it's fun, whatever. But um, so last month's pod, or last month's Success Club prize was a webinar with John Acoff, who wrote this the, his first book was about how to get started. He talks about motivation and how people say, I don't have motivation to get started, whether it's, you know, creating a business or getting started on their own health and fitness routine, or even learning how to wake up early in the morning to get their miracle morning and kind of things like that. And but during this webinar, he talked, I, I'm sorry, I'm going a little off tangent, but I wanted to share this with you guys. In his webinar, he talked that he should have wrote his last book first because he said so many people are more able to get started on something and less likely to actually finish it. And then he asked, because it was all Beachbody coaches, he goes, how many of you guys have before photos but have the same amount of after photos? And everyone was like, oh, damn, like truth bomb right there. Like how many of us have started a program and we quit or we're like, I'll do the workouts, but I'm not going to do the nutrition part or whatever, because whatever, whatever happens. So he wrote this book. I don't have it in here. It's called something about finish. It's upstairs. I ordered it because he was talking about how amazing it is, but he basically talks to you about how you can complete things all the way through and not get overwhelmed and not get, because so many times I think we let ourselves get overwhelmed because here we think we're like, okay, well, I'm a mom and I have children to take care of and I have this and I have this in the household and blah, 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 blah. And then I have to take care of myself and then I have to do my workout and then I have to meal prep and then I have to do this. And then I have to be, do a beach body coaching stuff. I have to reach out and invite and all this stuff. And I think a lot of the times we are our own worst enemy. And, oh yeah, it's the gift of being done or finish the gift of being done, something like that. But um, we get overwhelmed. And so what do we do? We go take a nap or we do something ridiculous that has nothing to do with where we want to go. Oh, that's awesome, Katrina. Um, but so I love the fact that Tracy, the first thing she said was priorities because the thing is, and he talks about it in this book is when you think about your priorities and maybe you need to adjust them because maybe your priorities are not, maybe maybe your active priorities are not aligned with what you actually want your priorities to be. You know, like my active priorities are daily doing the dishes, you know, like they're not going to get me to where I want to be. Yes. I want a clean kitchen, but let's face it. The dishes could go on the back burner. Be laundry being folded could go on the back burner. As long as that <laughs> stuff is washed and dried and full or thrown on my chair, that's fine. But so I love that you talked about that. And I think a lot of the times we, we get confused with being busy and being productive. And that all comes to play with priorities. And you're so right with the clarity. Like we have to be aware of what it is that we're doing. And if it does not align with, um, with our goals and our desires, like you told us to, you know, to sit down and write. And if there's things that we're not doing, maybe start incorporating them. If there's things that we're doing too much of that is pulling us away from it, maybe let that stuff go. But we also need to give ourselves grace because I think that if we look at all the things that we're not doing, we're like, oh, well, I didn't do this and I haven't worked out in two weeks and da, 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 then we're just going to get hard on ourselves. So instead of being hard on yourself, give yourself grace. And so you're able to move forward. Just do the top three of your to-do list, you know, put set priorities 
when you write your to-do list every single day, choose the top three that you're going to get done and eat that frog and do it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be about beach body either. I mean, it could be just life in general. Right. Right. But make sure taking care of you is on there. Right. Right. Um, so let's see. There are some chats in here. Uh, hi, my name is Dana and I fell off the PD wagon this week and guess who hasn't invited and guess why? And yes, I'm aware of it. And yes, my book's right next to me right now. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> Dana, before you go to bed tonight, you're obligated to read. And when I'm in Mexico sitting right next to your ass, you're, you're, you're going to be reading your personal development. Uh, Danny said, I had trouble with PD until I realized I wasn't choosing the right stuff for me. Girl, wash your face was what changed my mind on PD. Yeah, definitely you guys. Okay. So here's the thing with personal development too, is you're going to hear everyone going to recommend this book, going to recommend this book. Like everything I recommend doesn't mean that's what you need right now. Right? So if you are not feeling it and there's going to be chances that you're going to open the book and you're going to sit and kind of force yourself and it's not going to be hitting you or it's going to be too tough for you to read because the first time I read The Gift of Imperfection, I was like, I hate this book. I got to put it away. I can't read it, you know, but when, when you open it and you just like, you read five pages and you're like, what did I just read? It's not sinking in. That's obviously not the book for you. And like Danny said, it's going to take some time. Like you're going to go through a couple books, just like dating. You're going to go through a couple guys. Some are going to work out. Some are going to be fun, but then you're going to find one that sticks, right? I know like my analogy. Okay. Okay. Um, but the podcast, so there are also some really good podcasts. MWF is an awesome podcast by Rob Dial. He actually was a guest speaker on our team call last year. Um, but Rachel Hollis, the, for the author of Girl, Wash Your Face, she has her own pol podcast. It's Dallas Podcast, D-A-L-I-S, I believe. But you know what I will do? I will, I will screenshot um, a list of my podcast and share it in the big team page. And if anyone else wants to share theirs, I think that would be awesome for everyone to, you know, take a quick peek or anything. But Shalane um, Johnson is a great one. Who? Shalene Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shalene Johnson. I could watch her on any social yeah. media platform. Like, that girl is my jam. Yeah. She's awesome. Does anyone have any questions for Tracy? Or any comments? Concerns? I don't know. I just felt like that was fitting. For <laughs> Um, thank you guys for hopping on tonight. We had a short and sweet call, but Tracy, I really appreciate you taking the time, um, to host tonight's call. Um, Alexa says, thank you for getting her gears moving. Um, um, you are awesome, Tracy, and I love you dearly. And you guys, just so you know, you need to believe in yourself because you are amazing and you are incapable of achieving whatever your desires are, but you have to be willing to do the work. Like Tracy said, your ethics and your effort have to match your desires, like point blank, because otherwise they're, ne they're never going to be achievable. You have to be willing to do the work. And we can. We all know we can. Mm -hmm. We just got to do it. And we're here for each other, which is the best thing. Right. Right? All right. Well, thank you for watching the recording. I'm going to hang up.